Hello again, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course. Today I'd like to speculate about 5G for military usage. Usually when it comes to 5G, we're talking about civilian technologies and infrastructure. Today let's try to understand why defense industry, why military is looking for 5G. Everybody knows that mobile networks usually are not so reliable and not enough secure and that's why historically defense industry developing their own networks and nowadays we can see that they more and more looking into civilian technologies and the ways how to adapt civilian technologies for military purposes. So we can say that there is a weaponization of civilian technologies. Of course, networks, internet, antennas, including beam forming techniques, all of that comes from military, then became independent. And now we can see that they come back to military again. For example, drones came from civilian market and now very useful in military. Gaming is also the same. Nowadays you can use AR, VR tech to build up more realistic and interactive remote experience in military training. So we can see that technologies adapted back to military. So there is a kind of a circle when military R&D do some researches to build radars, nuclear power, beam forming technologies, computers, active antennas and giants and then in civilian market all of that technology is transforming into let's say mobile networks with all of that services and then again there is a loop to military. It means there is no clear border what is civilian or what is for military use and now it looks the same for 5G. Why when 5G came, we can see a kind of a new request for using mobile networks in military scenarios. Why this topic is a kind of a new trend? Well, one of the possible answer is that civilian mobile technologies as a form of 5G have finally achieved the high required level of security, accessibility and throughput for military usage. So it means what was impossible with 3G or even with 4G networks and now possible because of 5G integrated into modern warfare, into modern battlefield. As a result, we can see a tendency when network operators announced their partnerships in 5G trials with military companies with military base around the world. One of the known examples is Lockheed Martin. This is the main military company and provider for the US Army. It has announced the 5G.mil program in partnership with Verizon the USA. It was the first reason. The second reason why military is looking for 5G is the evolution of military communication scenarios. For the last 30 years we can see a shift from generation of vertical structure of modern warfare to network centric warfare. More and more military are going away from that hierarchical structure to network centric warfare in order to achieve supreme in terms of information. This may speed up the whole military operations by very precise and synchronous actions. One of the interesting 5G use cases is tactical smartphoneization. Tactical 5G can be used as a connectivity, as a kind of a tactical data platform for secure coordination and communication. Such platform can connect all military Internet of Things including tactical smartphones, which can be used for navigation for synchronous actions between troops and command unit. In this case, military can use 5G as a tactical operational center combining different sorts of information. Reconnaissance information from troops, from drones, which become more and more independent from interactions with humans and can transmit high-resolution video streams with object recognition. Military robots can also be part of 5G platform because they can already carry some heavy military equipment or deliver wounded warriors to medicine centers or recognize and shot to enemy. Well, that's obvious that civilian 5G technologies will not replace special military networks. Very probably they will be as a separate and spare available communication channel, 
especially in cases where there is no connection to satellites, to military relay systems or special relay aircraft. It is worth to mention that the current 5G standards do not include any connections via satellites or aircraft, but future 5G release 17 by the 3GPP organization are expected to support non-terrestrial networking capabilities of 5G. The 5G for military faces even stronger technological challenges because of the need to deploy 5G capabilities right at the edge of the battlefield, where little, if any, of 5G infrastructure exists, and where intentional RF jamming or other kind of interference from enemies are very likely. Military usage of any technologies are still the main motivation for development. Since 1990s, military companies, there loses their leading position in standardization, so that's one of the concern for holes in security in case of 5G military networks. Initially, 5G is not meant to be military, because there are no direct military use cases described in 3GPP or ITU, but 5G is a global technology, and the military departments wants to use 5G throughout its global operations. For that reason, alignment with military requirements is extremely critical. Well, it was my short overview of 5G in military. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Goodbye.